What is going on, fam? Welcome to my YouTube. My name is Kirsten. I'm an online personal trainer for ladies. This is my daughter and my dog, Miss Haley. Our morning has been a little bit crazy. Miss Haley's not feeling so well today. So um, I was super hungry post-gym. Sometimes I have time to make breakfast. Sometimes I don't. So instead of making my breakfast and being late, I just grabbed um, some veggies and dip. And instead of ranch, I have non-fat Greek yogurt. So we're going to chow that down on the way to school. Um, today I'm going to be taking you guys through a day of eating with my current macro breakdown. I'm going to show you what I do on Sundays to make sure I'm set up for a successful week. I'm going to show you the breakdown of the macros in each meal that I eat. And I'm going to show you that being fit AF is not as hard as people make it seem. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm home. I'm starving, but this episode is really important to me. Um, so there's one thing I want to talk about before I dive into what I'm going to have for breakfast. It's that I am not going to track the veggies with the Greek yogurt that I had this morning. It was maybe 80, max 100 calories, and I used to be obsessive over tracking. We're talking like if I chewed a piece of gum, it was going into my fitness pal, and I was completely obsessed, and I felt like my tracking was unhealthy. So now, yes, I track what I eat. I make sure I'm hitting my macros, and um, if I have like a little snack that's off plan, I'm not going to be like, oh my god. Um, and you'll see a lot of trainers and neither one is right or wrong because every single person is different. So I'm not like attacking anyone, but um, I actually read a post the other day where the girl was like, uh, you cannot see any results with your fitness journey if you are not tracking every single thing that's going into your body. And I completely disagree. I really do because right now, yes, I am tracking, but I am not tracking every last little thing. If I chew a piece of gum, no. If I have a little bit of non-fat Greek yogurt with some freaking cucumbers, I'm not tracking that either because then I become obsessed and I start beating myself up over a cucumber and a ranch with Greek yogurt snack and it just doesn't make any sense. So everybody has different opinions on that. Mine is that you need to know you're hitting your protein goal. You need to be, you need to know what you're putting into your body. You can't just eyeball a portion of like chicken or beef or anything if you don't actually know what a serving size looks like. But for myself, who's been doing this for a really long time, I feel super confident in um, swinging off my meal plan if I'm driving here to school and I'm starving to death because that's what was happening. I was starving to death. All right, guys. So let's talk about setting ourselves up for success. So um, I'm going to be kind of a – I'm going to be a little bit harsh with you right now. If you come into Monday saying that you're going to eat healthy – but you don't actually have a plan to eat healthy, you are going to fail because it's going to be way too easy to be absolutely starving and get something shitty in a rush. So for my one-on-one -on -one clients, I send them a new meal plan every single Friday so they have the weekend to prep and they're prepared for the entire week. And I do the same for myself. So this was my plan um, for this coming week. So I'm about to make breakfast. Um, so it's going to be ground chicken, feta, um, back bacon, boom, 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 boom. That's the macro breakdown for my breakfast. I got my snack, which um, I switch up a little bit. I add a sugar-free jello in there, but again, no obsessing. Lunch is an almond protein shake, which I'm kind of sick of, so I might do like a berry shake instead. Again, just making sure I get that scoop of protein and keeping it pretty on track. I'm not an anal freak. Um, an anal freak. <laughs> okay, sorry. I thought that was funny, but there's no one here to laugh. Um, dinner is white rice and canned spicy tuna, which I absolutely love. And then we got the um, Smart Pop fat-free butter popcorn at the end of the night, which just makes me feel so content in the evening. So that's what we're going to be eating today. I'm going to go through the entire day with you guys, and um, I hope you enjoy. But that's how I set myself up, guys, and it helps me. Hey, I love you too. That was cute. My boyfriend just said he loved me. I love you. Cooking up my protein. Going to chop up my veggies, munching on a couple blueberries, and then it's time to eat, fam. A little omelet, so I got all the egg whites and the veggies that I want to put in there cooking. And then I got my salt-free barbecue chicken by La Grill, and it's so good. It's so good. So good. And then I'm going to put my meat in the middle. I got my feta cheese, and I'm going to cook my Izykel sprouted bread. I think that's how you pronounce it. Who really cares? Really, though? And um, then I'm going to put some jam on top of that, and we're going to eat some food, and it's going to be awesome. How good it looks. 
So sprouted bread is the bread that I go with because it's low glycemic and it's just easier to digest. So if I eat a piece of regular whole wheat toast or white toast, I almost get what it looks like a three-month pregnant belly, and my body just doesn't digest it as well. When I eat this, I feel fueled and good. So this is the bread um, I go with. And this is the sugar-free jam I'm going to be putting on top of my sprouted bread. Um, it's only 20 calories. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm choking. 20 calories. Macros on it are really, really good. I mean, four grams of sugar is not as much as a regular jam, so I'll take it. All right, fam, so makeover. This is my five minute get ready routine. I literally just put like a little bit of cover up on. I do like some bronzer and I feel so much better showered, a little bit of perfume. Um, and currently at Bliss, have my coffee. Bliss is my favorite, favorite, favorite coffee. I get a little bit of almond milk, a little bit of almond milk in there. Um, there's some sugar-free vanilla and no, I do not track the almond milk because remember, we don't need to be obsessive, crazy biatches. Okay, 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 okay. Um, and then I also brought my little fruit snack. So I got my sugar-free jello and my fruit, and that's going to be my snack for the mid-afternoon. Still super full from breakfast, though. All right, so if you're going to Starbucks and you're ordering a straight-up caramel macchiato, um, first of all, why are you doing that? Because it's usually there are around 500 calories for a latte, empty calories, no nutritional value. So for me, 100% not worth it. But obviously, if you decide to go that route, you're going to need to track it. Don't be like, oh, Kirsten told me you don't need to track. Okay, I told you not to track when it's minor things, not if it's a 500-calorie coffee. Um, also, if you are in prep for competition, I'm just not the coach for you because that is not my thing. That's not my gem. That's not what I'm good at. Coming from a history of disordered eating, I found balance between enjoying the foods that I love in moderation. So um, obviously, if someone's training for competition, they are going to be tracking every little thing. And that's fantastic. But that's not what Kirst does. So for this coffee, it's maybe 20 calories. And for me, it's just a waste of time and energy to be on my fitness pal all day and putting 20 calories in there. Does it make sense? I have a confession to make. I went and got my afternoon smoothie, but I also got this chocolate what did you get i got sweetie are you my favorite little squish button do you love me even though i call you my little sweet petunia mm -hmm. here we got sushi i got this and then guys on my meal <coughs> oh my god i'm choking on my meal plan for this week i got um i put my favorite smoothie it's almond butter almond milk um protein powder honey greek yogurt um and sometimes i'll make it at home but when i don't have time to make it at home like today i just quickly run to nature's fair and grab it um i freaking love it so chest have been healthy yeah so do you guys think i'm gonna track this little chocolate i'm about to eat <laughs> once i eat it no one will know Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I need to go out and get more. Oh my god. So worth it. It's so worth it. Worth every bite. Mmm. 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 I can only buy one at a time because the truth is, guys, that I would eat every single last one. And if I got a bag of those, the whole bag would be gone. So. That was worth it. Mm. Yeah. All right, squad. So left to eat for today is my dinner. So I'm doing rice. Oh, my fridge is open. Rice and tuna. And then I got my popcorn before bed. If you don't know this about me, I'm about to tell you. I used to eat savagely in my sleep. I still will wake up and randomly find like fruit roll-up ba bags in my bed. And I'm like, oh, what the hell did I eat those? So I need to have something that fulfills me before bed so I don't get up um, and eat in my sleep. And it's like, you can laugh, but it was a serious problem. So um, that's what the popcorn's going to do. And now I'm going to make my dinner. Dinner. Okay, here's a little... Oh, <laughs> I just burped. Wow, Kirsten. Okay, here's a little hack that I do with my tuna. So you literally just dump it on to a napkin. And then I'm just going to squeeze off all the extra grease. So in this can of tuna, there is, I believe there's like seven grams of fat. Oh, I was right on the, right on the dot. So there's seven grams of fat. But if we squeeze off this grease that's like super unnecessary on there, then it'll be a lot less. See that? So I always squeeze it. It's the sweet chili kind. It's my absolute favorite by Cloverleaf. So good, but tastes just as good without that added 
she's not. All right, guys, it's time to eat in my underwear. A uh, little little uh, life hack about Kirst is that I do not like wearing pants. I would rather be in my underwear all day. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Say hi to my YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Well, guys, you know what they say. All good things come to an end. It is the last meal of the day. You love popcorn, don't you? He does. So I just put a little bit of salt-free seasoning on top. It's Orville's fat-free popcorn. And I'm having eight cups of it before I go to bed. Mmm. All right, guys. So those are my daily totals. I ate 1621, 1,621 calories, 170 almost grams of carbs, 140 grams of protein, and 46 grams of fat. All right, guys, that's it. That's all. I'm just finishing off um, my last little bit of popcorn, and then I'm done for the night. I feel super content. I would not need to eat anymore. I got my big water bottle here, so this thing filled up is about four and a half liters of water, so I drink one of these every single day, and I feel super satisfied. So right now, my calories are sitting at about 1,600 calories, and guys, that's going to leave me in a deficit, and my goal right now is... I'm sorry, am I choking on my popcorn? It's weight loss. So I have myself in a deficit, not a huge deficit. My body maintains anywhere depending on my activity level. Usually it was like 2,200 to 2,400 calories I could maintain when I was a server and I was a personal trainer in the gym because I was walking like 30,000 steps in one day. Now I get my activity done in the morning and yes, I'm going for walks throughout the day, but I'm burning a lot less through the day. So I'd say I'd sit happy around 18, 1900 calories. I could maintain that, especially because my gym sessions are crazy. So I'm in a calorie deficit of two to 300 calories. So I'm losing weight and I'm not losing weight like insanely since Christmas. I've dropped 159 to 151, eight pounds. Since Christmas, I've dropped eight pounds. And guys, you know what's awesome about that is that my high at Christmas was 159 and now my high is 153. So I'm not really focusing on the scale, but I've dropped at least five pounds and I just want to build lean muscles. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. I hope you got some value out of today. I hope you got some good ideas for food. Um, it really doesn't have to be extremely hard. Like I don't feel like today I was like deprived or restricted. Like on my smoothie, I enjoyed, I had one mini chocolate. Like I feel really good. And every single day I'm seeing results fitness wise. So, um, Obviously, it takes discipline. Obviously, it takes hard work. Obviously, there's times where you're like, I want to eat a whole pizza and you have to say no. But people always put um, like diet and unhappiness like, oh my God, I just have to eat a big bowl of lettuce. And that's just so 2010, okay? <laughs> like it's 2020. We're allowed to eat pizzas and still lose weight. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I almost didn't know what I was gonna say. I get really loopy at the end of the day, seriously. Um, if you have not joined my ladies only fitness community, ladies, I'm pinning the group at the top of the comments. Join, it's free. I post a ton of meal ideas. So if you love this episode, you will love the fitness community. See you on the inside. Peace, love.